Okay, I'm back here again in this wide open field. The weather today is very nice and sunny. It was really hot this afternoon and the winds are really calm this evening. And as you can see, I have practically the, the whole field to myself uh, with which I, I can, I'll be looking for um, my rocket and I do hope to recover it uh, wherever it may land. So once again, uh, if, if you've seen my video from uh, yesterday, you would have seen the failure of this rocket on its maiden flight. And the reason for its failure was the, um, the glue that was holding, the adhesion of the, the, of the glue that was holding the fins, the balsa, laser cut balsa fins to the rocket body failed just after takeoff the rocket rocket spiraled out of control and crashed into the ground but thankfully it wasn't damaged apart from the two fins that fell off so I was able to recover it and glue them back last night and once again today just to strengthen them with several applications of CA gel glue so I sure hope that that the fins will um, hold stay in place this time around and um, hopefully we'll have in this is the second launch of my ST's high flyer rocket on a B66 model so it's a B powered engine with a six second delay ejection charge this rocket will be recovered on a streamer rather than a parachute because this one is built for this one is optimized for very high altitudes and if it were to deploy a parachute it would just float away miles away so and it would be lost so this one I hope will come pretty much straight back down but we'll see how it goes I lost my first one back in Malaysia because it on a sea I launched it the first time on a sea engine and it went up 510 meters and I just lost it it was just too high to ever be recovered so yeah I'm launching it on a B66 this time around I'm not sure how high it will go but the view is um, extremely clear and uh, it's pretty bright today. You can see someone uh, flying an RC aircraft in the distance. And um, this is a very good, uh, very, very good situation to launch this rocket. So here we go. Um, connected the electron beam controller. Continuity test indicates that it's hooked up correctly and we're ready for launch see this gentleman just walking away so that should give us enough clearance so we'll start the countdown now I'm going to hit the launch button and try to film a bit of where the rocket goes and um, uh, if I can track it with the camera I will so uh, let's see how it goes this time around so I've armed the uh, launch control and I'm going to start the countdown now. Five, four, three, two, one. I've hit the launch button. Nope, sorry. Missed it. Let's try again. So once again, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry. Having finger trouble there. Okay. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, launch. Okay, the launch was a success. I just saw the uh, recovery charge deploy, but I can't see anything at all at the moment. 
no idea where that went. It's absolutely too high to um, see anything. So I'm going to try to look for it now. <laughs> 